Well, I was inspired to share some of my stock video sales over the last uh, year to three years uh, by some other of our black box users. Um, I think it's a great community we have here. I think sharing knowledge is going to be really helpful. And uh, so that's why, you know, I love when people share it and I feel that, uh, you know, I should share as well. So what I'm going to do just for this video, you know, some people are impatient, just want to see what has sold. Um, I'm going to start showing those clips here in a second. And then towards the, at the very end, I'll kind of go over kind of my background, um, you know, uh, my clips that have sold or percentage and all that stuff. Uh, my thoughts and observations, you know, so you can, you can bow out early if you want in the video. Um, if you don't want to really hear what I think, which is fine. I don't, I'm not going to, not going to be offended. Um, but let me get into some of the videos. So the first one you're seeing right now, this is sold four times this year. It's with the Mavic Mini, or sorry, Mavic uh, Air 2 that I got in February of 2022. It's, this clip has sold four times for a total of $185, the biggest single sales being $101 shot in 4K video. Um, the second clip you're seeing now this clip has sold eight times over probably two years uh, period of time. Single, single biggest sale is $39, but for total sales of $158. This clip is not a big single sale seller, but it sold it seven times for a total of $80. Biggest single sale was $12. Probably this is with the shot with a GoPro. Um, the previous one with the trailer. That was shot with my Mavic Mini. What I'm gonna do now is I'll just kinda of go through, there's a, here's a shot reel of things that have sold, and I'll kinda of notate, you know, maybe number of times or, or the dollar value. I'm gonna kinda of go with like, you know, higher, some of the higher value sales that I've had, and this is primarily in 2022. Um, just kind of the background here, some statistics. These are statistics that I have uh, collected myself, um, and so take it or leave it. Uh, about 34% of my sales based on dollar value is repeat sales. 23% is what I, uh, is editorial, so it's been marked as editorial. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it was all, uh, it, it was definitely used as editorial, but it doesn't mean that some of my other clips weren't also used as an editorial fashion. 16% of them are COVID related, so that's gone down. So this is over my total sales, not just 2022. That was more closer to 30% back in 2020 and 2021, and now in 2022, that's down to about 16%. 15% is what I label as industrial or industry, and 11% is farm. <clears throat> so a little bit of background about myself, just so you um, judge you know, how good or bad my information is. I started in, in February of 2022. 2020, so about three years ago, uh, almost exactly, I started with a Mavic Mini. And I'm not talking about a Mini 2 or a Mini 3. I'm talking about the original Mavic Mini. I shot 1080p, pretty much primarily just 1080p, because I knew that 9 out of 10 sales were shot in 1080p, or, or bought in 1080p, so I felt comfortable. And I have to say, I think about $2,000 of my sales have been sold um, of the Mavic Mini. My total sales it was about 3,000. I literally just hit the $3,000 mark probably two days ago or a couple days ago. Um, but I'll say primarily $1,600 of sales have occurred in the year of 2022. Um, and then about $700 um, in sales in 2021 and then about the same in 2022 or 2020. Uh, overall, so up into 2022, I had probably just around a thousand clips um, posted that were my own. Um, in 2022, I added an initial 500 clips, plus I did about 500 more in curation. So I got to about 2,000 clips towards the end of 2022 that were submitted. Uh, about 1,500 of those were mine. 500 were stuff that I've curated. So I think as far as percentage goes, I'm a little bit higher than average as far as number of clips versus my, my sales dollars. Um, so take it or leave that. 
or, or you can evaluate on your own. Those are, those are the numbers. Uh, right now, I've shot, um, so you know, as kind of mentioned earlier, in, in February of 2022, I got the Mavic Air 2. Huge improvement. Um, I mean, the thing is just such a much more capable drone. I'm not just talking about the fact that it can shoot 4K video. I'm just talking about how fast it can fly, how far it can fly, all, all that stuff makes um, what I makes it a lot easier as a drone pilot, for sure. Um, though I did have a pretty major crash with it, but that's a story for another day. Some of my thoughts and observations about stock video. Um, one is, is don't shy away from editorial. I shoot a lot of what I consider editorial shots, even if they're not technically editorial, um, in meaning that, you know, my expectation is that their use is going to be in, like, documentaries, uh, news, or YouTube channels, like, in informational YouTube channels, like, like, hey, they're talking about a certain thing, um, you know, more of, like, a, a news kind of or ed educational um YouTube kind of channel. Number two is uh, drones are a good way to get into uh, stock video footage, but they're not the only way. And, and what I find is um, that's how I got into it. Basically, I got them. I was into photography and wanted to get a drone to get above, like trees. So I can take pictures of like landscape. I like taking pictures of power plants, <clears throat> and in industry. And, you know, it's hard to do with a camera on the ground. So I thought, oh, if I can get a drone, I can get above the trees and get above the power lines, take some of these cool shots. And I mostly shoot video now. Um, and I really enjoy it. I, I've flown about, it was like 1,800 minutes. So I think it's about 30 hours last year, maybe alone, just in, in, in fl drone flights. You know, I was like, what am I going to do with this video? Like, I'm not just going to store it on my hard drive. So I looked into, you know, I'm like, I bet people buy video, like, you know, stock videos, like they still uh, sell stock photos, and sure enough, they do, found Black Box, got on that, great platform, definitely enjoy the collaborative available, uh, element of it, because I don't like to curate that much, I mean, I do some curation, but it's um, for specific individuals, I don't do it for everybody, so it allows me to shoot, somebody else does the curation, I get the sales, you know, they get sales as well, and, and we're, we're all happy. I am lucky partially because where I live, there's not a ton of stock videos available. So that means that I'm in a very barren market, or I wouldn't say barren market, but like I, I'm just lucky because I, I can just about anything I shoot, I'm probably the only person who has that video. And uh, so, so when people are buying stock videos, they see my stuff. Um, they don't they have my videos to choose from, mostly. Uh, if you're in like LA area, uh, San Francisco, I can imagine very dense populated areas, maybe Chicago, uh, New York, you're gonna probably have super saturated market there uh, for those. You're gonna have to be very particular on what you're looking for. So I'm gonna have a link down below it's it's how you you know so it's a tool used for curation but it also can be used as a tool to see what videos are already out there and um, you know maybe where there might be a niche for you um, you know like LA there's probably a gazillion videos of the Santa Monica Pier so what are there not a million videos of um, you know it might be certain streets it might be certain towns it might be certain landmarks you know, check that out. Maybe they're near your house, maybe they're not. Uh, maybe you have to drive a little bit. Maybe go to Ventura, maybe head south along the coast, Highway 1 there. Are tools that you can use to help you um, figure out which videos would be best. My kind of last piece of advice is, you know, if you're thinking, oh, this is great, you know, maybe I can shoot a bunch of videos and then I can quit my job and I can, you know, just do this. Um, my suggestion is hopefully you really love it. Like, I mean, otherwise it's just another job. Uh, I really enjoy flying the drone. I love shooting uh, stock video. It's become kind of in, in my head a little bit. I'll walk around with a camera and just end up shooting stock video footage. And this is not something that I ever imagined that I'd really be doing. And I just got hooked on it. I enjoy it and I know what my niche is. So it's mostly drone and just kind of like very casual um, 
video footage, like where you're walking around and you happen to shoot something. I am not very good with studio lighting. As case in point is this video right here. I just happened to set up a light. I have my computer as the background. I don't have a studio in my house, so I just have this room that is, has a horrible paint color. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I just gotta live with it. Um, but you might enjoy studio photography, uh, studio videography. Um, great, you know, just try to find what is our videos that are selling, try to find out what's available um, to shoot and do that. Um, obviously travel is very popular. Um, one other thing I have done is I've, I've posted uh, and sold some photos as well. I'll, I'll share a couple here. Um, the photos don't sell for a great value, like like the the price, like most of them sell for like 10 cents as far as editorial goes. I'm sure maybe like artsy stuff, they sell much more, but uh, I, that's not my it's not my gig. But it does help you see what people are searching for and looking for and what kind of stories they're trying to tell. Anyways, um, I, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. You can try to look me up on the Black Box community on Facebook. Uh, I'm more than happy to collaborate, work, you know, collaborate with ideas. Um, maybe not know it's just in such doing like curation or anything like that. I know some great curators if, if anybody's looking for any. Uh, I don't know if they're available for other people to, to work with, but you know, that's something we can we can figure out, you know, and I'll try to answer any questions I can. I, I, I like the fact that we can share knowledge and make everybody better as far as videographers go. So hope you enjoyed the video. It's YouTube, so give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like, and, and I appreciate it. So um, I'll try to post this maybe again at some point, you know, what's, what I'm seeing is selling, but it probably will be like a once in a year thing. All right, take care. Bye.